Hey everybody, it's Emily and this is Emmy Lou Arts and today I'm journaling again in my A5 Hobonichi Cousin of Ek. Sorry, I didn't even wave to you. I was in the zone, I guess. And uh, so I hope you have something that you enjoy working on and we'll just hang out together for a while. Oh, I'm so sorry for the racket in the background. I'm in the parking garage at work trying to do this voiceover. Mm. <laughs> I came to work early to try and get my COVID vaccine because Addie was playing with my phone and she accidentally canceled my appointment. God, I don't know how she even did it. <laughs> she said, well, I thought they were just texting letters. I was like, no, Addie, then N means I don't want my appointment. <laughs> oh, children, it's so fun. But it turns out I couldn't do it today because they only thought so many of the vaccines for that day because it's the Pfizer one. So I have to come back next week. So super awesome. <laughs> and then somebody's car alarm keeps going off. Oh my God, I'm going to rage. <laughs> uh, we're talking about the 4th, which was yesterday. Today's Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. And I put in a little HEDA sticker. The kids are back to school and everyone was in a snit yesterday. Well, mostly just Henry because, oh my God, this car alarm. <laughs> because I didn't buy the right hair paste for his new hairstyle. Because I thought we had some at home, like the styling paste. And I must have thrown it out last time I cleaned the bathroom. So he was like, "Ugh, I'm going to look so dumb. <laughs> I was like, we have hair stuff. It's just not the exact stuff. He was very self-conscious. <laughs> so I put in one of those Buha Bear stickers um, and a sticker from um, one of the Sweet Kawaii Designs uh, sticker books from Michael's. I had Zoom coffee with my mom and dad. And then that collage of a dinosaur saying, what makes more noise than a dinosaur? And it's Fatty waking me up at 4 a.m. to refill his bowl. We've talked about this so many times. He likes to torture me, I guess. It's not whisker stress because I changed the bowl. I went down there and there was a nickel-sized area in his bowl where you could see the bottom of the bowl. And that freaked him out. So I needed to go fluff the kernels and, and make them even again for his highness. <sighs> oh... And uh, so I put in some pig and cat stickers of a little cat food and then the cat thinking about food and fatty would be the death of me. And then I put in the little oops sticker from that came with my oops bag from um, Shine Sticker Studio for my last order um, because it was a big oops that I didn't buy that hair paste, you know. And then a box that said today with another little Buha Bear sticker and then another sticker um, <clears throat> from like everyday life stickers I can't remember what they're called but um just writing that Henry and Michael had a zoom den meeting on Monday night um they're still meeting with their um scout den on um on zoom so uh <laughs> Henry was dreading that they had to watch they had to watch a video about inappropriate touching he's like oh, that was awkward this day just keeps getting worse <laughs> oh so apparently Monday wasn't his best day. <laughs> I made a little to-do list that said, buy hair paste, uh, get a new candle. Because we burned all of ours for uh, the Christmas scents. And drop off one of my mom's long lost gifts that came through the postal service, finally. And to um, later I add to water Addie's cactus in her room. <laughs> because it needs to be sprayed with a water bottle every Sunday. And she forgot to do it on Sunday, so... I was going to go sp spritz her succulent. That sounded weird. <laughs> um, and then I'm putting a little box in the corner that uh, reminds me that Addie's dance starts back up again tonight. Which she's very excited about. Um, and I used one of the little p -p 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 <laughs> little cat stickers. Uh, somebody told me that in Canada... They cost like a zillion dollars to get them from Amazon. I'm so sorry. I think they didn't cost me that much. So, I don't know. There's that godforsaken car alarm. It's going to be an awesome day at work, you guys. Awesome. I am ready and raring for it. <laughs> 
Um, and then let's see. I stuck in uh, a, a sticker that said, One Amazing Happy Life, because it was my mom and dad's 46th wedding anniversary on Monday. So congratulations to them. We were having Zoom coffee, and my mom goes, Oh, Jim, it's the 4th. And my dad was like, Yeah? <laughs> She goes, we've been married 46 years today. He goes, I knew that. <laughs> oh, as luck would have it, the um, 18 yellow roses showed up a couple hours after that. So <laughs> uh, he saved the day. Um, and they were absolutely beautiful. So good job, Daddy. Uh, no, she wasn't upset. It was just funny. I guess after 46 of them, you kind of lose track. They don't become so momentous anymore, <laughs> even though I think it is momentous. Um, I put in some more of these little, there are these little people stickers. They're so cute. I don't know the brand name. I think I link them below. Um, I think I've bought them on Amazon, but I was also sent them before once. Um, and then I'm just adding mild liner hearts um, just to fill up the empty spaces. You know, we can't have any of those. And then this morning... Tuesday, I must have woken up in a really introspective mood because um, I was kind of thinking about um, like just finding more balance in my life. So this piece of collage that I was sent from a subscriber was absolutely perfect. It's this girl on a tightrope. And for me, it kind of symbolizes, today was sort of art journaling. I had to work today, I have to work today, so there wasn't really a whole lot to record. But I really wanted to write about this um, because I feel like I struggle with finding a balance in myself of, of working hard and striving towards goals and then taking the time to slow down and take care of myself. I don't know why that's such a struggle for me, but any moderation, I think I made moderation my word of the year for 2021 because I just have a hard time with doing things moderately. It's like a hundred or nothing. You know what I mean? I've said that a lot before too, but I need to really um, focus this year on finding a balance between um, kind of being a closed bud where that flower sort of symbolizes, you know, taking care of myself and taking that time um, and opening up and striving for more um, and to not feel guilty about either of those times because I feel like when I do try and, and practice moderation and relax, then sometimes the guilt takes over and then when I feel guilty, then I kind of make poor decisions in the name of like, well, I'm doing nothing. So I might as well just eat a whole bunch of junk food or drink some beer. Or, you know, I don't, it's my messed up brain. You know, our brains tell us weird things. So um, just welcome to my therapy session. So anyways, I, it was just kind of like reminding myself to embrace the relaxation time and view it as healthy and not something that should make me feel guilty for recharging and resting because I'm all about self-care but also self-care in the right forms um you know because sometimes I can write off self-care in as things that aren't really caring for myself so or methods. And I guess I, str I ran across this um, writing this morning and it was a quote from uh, Whippy Cake. And she's actually an influencer who has since passed away from breast cancer. Um, I don't know how I fell down this rabbit hole, but um, the words really meant a lot to me. So I wrote them down and it says, nothing makes me feel stronger than knowing I have walked fiercely into the refiner's fire and have done so by spending the time and effort seeking the most nurturing and healing self practices instead of escaping through distractions, numbing, ignoring, raging, self-medicating, or whatever else we humans do when we are desperate to evade the licking flame of struggle damn you guys right I mean we do want to 
escape that feeling of struggle in whatever form it is. If it's, you know, mental struggle, physical struggle, just boredom, that feeling of discomfort where you would normally fall back on a self-practice that maybe isn't so self-nurturing and healing. I really want to practice the kind of relaxation and self-care that is nurturing and healing, not drinking Blue Moon. But sometimes I guess that is nurturing for me. But more often than not, it's just a fallback into a pattern that doesn't really serve me. So I guess that's what this is about. (laughs) This whole spread. And now, if you're still with me, um, thank you. (laughs) So I guess I just wish for you guys this year to um, be you know, as balanced with yourself and give yourself grace and uh, self-care in ways that nurture you and, and, you know, make you the best version of yourself. I guess that's what I'm trying to strive for. And uh, we'll work on it together. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.